Before starting a lock-in test, check the Auto Scale Each box to automatically scale the color palette to each new lock-in image that's calculated and displayed. Select the Amplitude option to display any heating that occurs any time during the cycle. Make sure the Phase box is unchecked to prevent displaying the phase image each time the lock-in image is updated. Make sure the Show Thermal Overlay box is unchecked so that thermal overlay processing is not being performed while the test is running. Start capturing images. Click the Auto Scale Palette button and then focus the camera lens. To start the test, press the on-off button. If too many images are rejected, open the advanced settings window and adjust the image rejection parameters. As soon as localized heating is detected, you can stop the test. When you are finished running the test, save it to the hard drive. Safe tests can be open to evaluate test images. They also can be continued by pressing the on off button. You can manually adjust the color palette to optimize the contrast to better view the localized heating. You can also press the auto scale button to automatically scale the color palette. To more clearly view the hotspot, you can toggle the display size and also use the zoom and pan tools. Hover the cursor over the hotspot to determine the magnitude of the heating. In this case, it was approximately 45 degrees millikelvin. Regions can also be drawn to display temperature statistics within the region. Regions can also be transferred to the main image to help localize heating. To merge the hotspot with a grayscale thermal image overlay, click the show box. Adjust the range slider to determine how much of the lock-in image is merged with the thermal overlay. To improve the contrast of the thermal overlay in a specific area, first draw a region in that area, and then click the In Region box. Optotherm Thermalize, thermal image analysis software. For more information, please visit our website.